Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I want to talk about why the DJI Mavic Mini is the perfect gateway drone for me. And now I'm already looking at other drones for next year and wanting to take the test to get my permit for bigger drones with better cameras. And uh, I'm going to tell you why. This is a great drone. All right, so I've been interested in drones for a long time, but I've really held off. Uh, last year, about this time, I came really, really close to getting a Mavic Air, did a lot of research, um, looked at a Spark, an Air, at uh, a Pro, other things. I thought the Air was about right. Saint came so close to pulling the trigger on one, just wondered how much I would actually use it. So in, around that time, they implemented these new regulations here in the U.S. where you had to pass this test and get the certification in order to fly these drones that were over a certain weight limit. So that really kind of turned me off to the whole thing. The last thing I, I need to do right now is study for some tests. Uh, I've got lots of other stuff going on. So I thought if I need a drone, I'll just use some stock footage or I will hire one of my friends to do it that actually has a nicer drone. But then they came out with this Mavic Mini and uh, this thing is just under the weight limit. And so it allows me to not have to take that test which is great. Well, once I saw that this came out, uh, I watched lots of reviews. I thought, well, the, f the footage is pretty good. It's it's pretty limited right now in your video settings, but uh, DJI is usually pretty good about releasing new firmware after it's been out for a few months that enhances uh, the functionality of their, of their camera. So I expect that after lots of people have this drone already that they will release this new firmware that will unlock the 24p that will unlock the uh, the manual settings for the video that will maybe even unlock 4k abilities uh, this really looks like the same camera that's on my Osmo pocket so I would be surprised if this couldn't actually do 4k inside I guess we'll find out so and the slow motion is pretty cool too it does uh, 60 frames per second at HD uh, so it's not quite the 120 frames per second that you get out of the pocket uh, but like I said I suspect that they probably will release that maybe in January or so if I had to guess so I'm hopeful for that so overall this drone is great I've never really flown one before I was able to get up and flying in no time with the DJ fly app uh, everything connected pretty well uh, I do only have the one battery I probably will have to buy a few more batteries for it um, and I'm not gonna lie, it is super nerve-wracking the first time you take it up to where you can barely see it anymore and it is up at the very top of its range. I'm just, at any moment, I'm expecting it just to, to zip and fly away and, and for it just to be gone. So I'm just gonna have to get over that and, and just get used to flying it with the camera so that I can actually use it to its full potential. So I'm sure that I'll get over that with some more experience and I will just trust the screen and trust the drone to stay in the air. So overall, I'm super excited about this drone. I can't wait to get some more hours behind it uh, and get some more experience to where I'm much more comfortable flying it around. So I think I'll be making some more videos about this to show some of the cinematic qualities and I'll certainly involve it in some of my short films. So I hope that this was helpful for someone out there to make a decision on whether or not this is the right drone for you. It certainly is for me. I expect a lot of people to be getting this drone for Christmas and some new firmware updates will make it just perfect, I think. Uh, maybe a year from now or so I'll look at upgrading to a Mavic Air, but this is perfect for me for now. So thanks DJI for coming out with such a great drone for a great price at such a low weight so that I can fly it without having to take that test. So I did a quick test as the sun was going down just to see uh, what it would look like with the exposure here. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty unusable. Uh, this would be better, uh, obviously, with some manual settings. Uh, you could uh, set the exposure for the ground uh, and maybe use an ND filter or something for the sky. So I've had this drone for three or four weeks now. I haven't crashed it yet. It hasn't flown away. I have certainly lost connection with it a few times, you know, as it's uh, been way up there. Uh, but it's always come back and uh, I'm getting much more comfortable with it now. Um, I think that I will experiment more uh, over the next few weeks and hopefully make a few more videos. So here's the point of the video where I say subscribe if you like this type of content and you want to see more. I make videos at least weekly, if not more frequently than that. So uh, subscribe and you'll see some fun stuff.